Hey world, welcome to the Sharice Nicole podcast. I created this space where I'll discuss life lessons, personal stories, observations, unsolicited advice, and ramblings that go on in my chattering mind. Every so often, I will pull in guests to provide different perspectives and discuss a range of topics from nutrition to travel and all things in between. So without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome back to season two of the Sharice Nicole podcast. Guys, I'm so excited. I missed my podcast. I'm I'm sorry if that was really loud in your ear. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to come back on here and talk my talk and just like say things that are on my mind because there's a lot that are on my mind. The thing that I don't do is I don't write them down. <laughs> So I'll be thinking like a thousand things and I'll be like, wow, this would be great on the the podcast. This would be great on the podcast. Okay, something that I do that you may have noticed when I get really excited, I talk really fast and then sometimes I trip over my words and then it just comes out sounding like gibberish. But yeah, anyways, so I'm excited to be back. Um, I missed it. Like I said, I, you know, when life happens, I just was going through the motions and I, you know, write it out and journal it. But there's something different when you can speak it out. And on my podcast, like I said, in season one, episode one, this is my safe space on the internet, for me anyways, in my own mind, where I can just come on here and express how I feel and talk about my emotions and feelings and things that I've gone through. And obviously, there's been a lot. (laughs) Yeah, I pretty much went on a two month hiatus. Um... I think my last episode aired late September and then I recently dropped a bonus episode that I low-key forgot about. Um, My posting schedule has been off, but that's going to be another podcast because I'm just going to talk about all my anxiety with just everything that I do uh, and being a content creator. But yeah, so I was off for two months and I had time to think and I just had time to just relax and take a break I mean of course I was still working on other things you know I have YouTube and I have a blog and I've been doing a lot of backtracking but it's because I've been doing a lot of doing but I haven't been doing intentionally or doing so in a smart way so I've been taking some steps back to kind of recalibrate uh, re-strategize and kind of get myself back on the right track so I mean I think that's what I've been that's what I've been up to for the past month I'd say but Otherwise, um, I've been, you know, trying to figure out life. I don't think, I don't know if I'll ever, I'll ever get to that point because <laughs> every day is like a discovery of some sort. Like I'm, I'm, I'm always learning. I'm a student of life. That's what I like to say. I'm always learning and I'm always growing and I'm always making mistakes and then turning those into lessons and then doing better and then achieving more. So I missed recording clearly, as you can tell. I was actually low key, not low key, high key, anxious and nervous. And I was postponing make or even recording this episode because I was so, I was like, oh, oh, shoot, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I don't know how I'm going to talk about things. I don't know the flow of things. I was kind of overthinking everything as I usually do. And then that was tied into my procrastination. That's why I didn't get started back when I should have. So Nonetheless, I'm here now and I'm recording. Um, So some things that you can expect this season is just, you know, I'm going to be continuing with guests. Um, Not as many guests as last season, but, you know, of course, moving forward, all my guests are super, super intentional. People that I reach out to are people that I connect with and that I see something in. And I mean, it's always been like that, but um, definitely I just want to bring like-minded interesting creative talented people on here to you know have a conversation with them so I already have about two recorded already and they're great episodes and you know I'm already eyeing some more people on social media that's how I scout people (laughs) people I follow people that are interesting so hopefully I can get some more people on here and then also this season is just more myself and I talked about that in my two episodes ago I was like nah it's gonna be more of me on here some more vulnerability and just more of myself which is scary to do but honestly like I don't know if you can tell but my confidence 
shot up because like my first episode I was super scared and shy but like now this episode I was looking forward to even recording and I actually like doing it so now I want to get into you know what has been up with me like how have I been how have you been Sharice thank you for asking well (laughs) if if you're if you're wondering if I actually talk like that to myself I sure as hell do I sure as hell do. Anyways, what has been up with me? Anxiety. To be honest, anxiety. I mean, I think this year has, like, I've, uh, and I'm not someone who, you know, like, I'm diagnosed with having anxiety disorder or something like that. Anxiety has been a, what is it, an emotion? I don't know. It's been a feeling that I have been getting more often this year than any time in my life I've definitely felt anxiety in the past but I'd say this year it obviously rose up a lot and and that's also in connection with what's going on in the times the fact that we live in this era in this world where you know is it apocalypse gonna be next week are aliens gonna come down and scoop me up tomorrow is Am I going to wake up out of this as a dream? You know, am I in a simulation? What's going on in this matrix? So obviously there's like a lot of anxiety there. Um, I felt the worst, I'd say around mm, April, April, May, with just like everything that was going on in in the States and like the, the racial, the racial tension and just everything oh my gosh all that compounding is just everything and then you got you know this covid running rampant and the constant um, portrayal of negativity and low vibrational news in the media like literally i used to have notifications that were showing me like google news headlines and stuff and it would be like x amount of deaths today x amount of deaths this morning and i was like i keep reading and seeing and and hearing about death and it's it's really putting me in low vibration so yeah to turn that off i really i don't consume much of um the news just for that reason because nah (laughs) it's not cool to like wake up first thing in the morning and that's what you're being told about is death but anyway so a lot of that has been you know has played a role in my anxiety but I want to say like the top things really are just my social media consumption like social media has always been something that actually no in the beginning in the beginning it was like knew nobody really knew what Facebook was nobody really knew what you know all these social media feeds were and Instagram was just like a thing right and then over the times it became like this little hub of comparison of thinking you're unworthy and stuff like that so even though I'm privy to all that and I I know it I still try to go into Instagram Twitter YouTube Facebook whatever with uh, intention right like I go there to seek inspiration or to whatever get more information but along the way that gets a little lost and yeah I do get consumed with the constant media feed and the the portrayal of people's flashy glitterly perfect or seemingly perfect lifestyles and then that does leave me feeling a little bit I don't know I, I don't know if unworthy is word but it does leave me feeling a sort of way I'm recognizing that more and I'm doing less. You know, I'm looking at stories less. I'm looking through my um, my feed less. I'm following people that only provide good vibrational uplifting things. I just, I got to cut through the noise. I got to cut through the, the nonsense and, you know, be very intentional with my consumption. But that being said, it's also because I'm a creative. Like I say all the time, I want to do a social media detox. I want to do an internet detox. I want to just fall off the grid. But being a creative, being a blogger, being a podcaster, like I have to interact with these things. So also in part of being a creative, like I feel like my mind's always running. Like I have a hundred thousand things I want to do today, but I clearly, I don't think I can get through all those things today. So it's just been about how can I peel it back and just slow down and take things one day at a time. And I think a lot of my anxiety was built in that, which was I want to get all these things done right now this second and then seeing something new and being like jumping to that idea and being like I want to get this done right now this second but the reality of it is 
I can't do all of those things right now <laughs> this second. So it's okay if I only completed one out of the 20 things I set out to do today. I think it's just a self-acceptance and just like being okay with that and just taking it one day at a time and hoping that I can continue to live on and fulfill my purpose. What you can expect from me this season like I was mentioning in the beginning of this episode, is more thought-provoking, eye-opening, high vibrational conversations with people I like. Some people that I don't even know, but their energy is right to me. So I reached out to them and um, just I'm always focused on making more connections and building with people. And um, I just want to get deeper on myself, you know, dig deeper into who I am as a person or who I believe my authentic self is to be. And that, you know, just kind of call myself out. You know, I'm my biggest obstacle. I'm my biggest critique. And I need to overcome myself in a sense. So uh, I don't expect any of my episodes to come to be easy or comfortable to do. But like my latest blog post on (laughs) TreeseNicole.com says, it's not always about you. And in this case, you being me. So thank you guys for listening. I, yeah, I can't wait to speak more on a lot of different topics and and issues and things and thoughts in my mind on this podcast. Thank you so much for listening this way through and until next time.